In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a corridor. A corridor is basically used to create the um, surface for our roadway so we can set our proposed grades. <clears throat> so let's get started. Go ahead and open up the drawing that you had created the assembly in. So we're going to use the assembly and the proposed roadway to create our corridor and our corridor surface. So underneath Create Design on the Home tab, click on Corridor. This dialog box dialog box is going to pop up and we're going to call it VC Corridor. Now we're going to leave everything um, as a basic style. We're going to leave the, the corridor layer manner name the same. Make sure the Valencia Road is selected and we're going to, this is the most important. The profile that we're going to be working on is the proposed grade profile. So mine is Valencia Road. The assembly type is going to be the VC assembly and our target surface is going to be existing. Go ahead and check the set baseline and region parameters. Go OK. Now here's what it means is for our assembly notice that, let me get out of here, notice that the roadway stops here. Okay, Our assembly does not cover an extension, doesn't cover the cul-de-sac. So I'm going to have to step through that one more time. So VC corridor, Valencia Road, assembly, target surface existing. All right, so what that means is where it wants to stop is I want to stop the profile of the assembly at 15 plus 00. zero. Apply, rebuild, and OK. Notice that it stops here. It doesn't extend past the, the cul-de-sac because our roadway assembly doesn't encompass that cul-de-sac. Now the next thing that I need to do is I need to create the surface for this corridor. So I'm going to come over here to corridors, I'm going to click on the VC corridor, right click and click on properties. When I do that, I've got all these different parameters. I could have changed the parameters up here. The codes have to do with where I'm connecting. Remember how I asked and made sure that you all connected all the tops to the, the, the assembly. Feature lines, we're not working with those. The surface is what we're going to be working with. We need to create a surface. So up here on that first box, it says create a corridor. Click that. Our data types, you've got two different types, feature lines and links. We're going to be using links. Specify code. The code we could be working with is pavement elevations or baselines or sub-base or a datum. I'm going to leave it at the top because that's the top surface we're going to be putting our proposed grades on. So you're going to have to come over here and hit plus, apply, rebuild corridor, and OK. All right. Now you can see these dark lines are our, our proposed um, surface for a corridor. Also notice up here in the surface in the tool space, you now have VC corridor surface. Mine's seven. Um, it's because I've been working on this drawing off and on, so the numbers might not be the same as yours. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save that out and um, in the next video I'm going to show you how to create spot grades on this corridor to start work on doing a grading drawing. But I also want to show you this as an example. Notice how I'm going to, I'm going to freeze this off, the, the pink lines, I'm going to freeze the pink lines off. But notice how I have the dark lines here. Those are my proposed grades. Now it has to be affected, it is affected by this proposed center line. Now take a look, I only have one contour, but if I come over here and I pull this down, notice that it automatically shifts and builds these contours for the center line of the road. I could go ahead and extend out this, change the surface of my um, my uh, uh, assembly, let's say I come over here and I click on this and I want the assembly to go out instead of the width being 50, I change it to 150 at 1%. Now here's the other thing that you have to notice is over here on VC corridor, notice that we've had, we've seen this symbol before. That means we need to update or rebuild this object. When we do that, notice now these contours go out past our project area. I'm going to go ahead and do the other side because this is also very helpful when working with corridors and creating spot grades. So I just change that to 150 feet, come over here and rebuild, and it puts the contours over here. 
Now, if I wanted, I'm going to go ahead and change this back to um, back higher to where I had it. And you can see, oops, you can see this adjust, turn my O oh, snaps off. It adjusts the, the corridor and the surface continually through the project. So you can always update. That's what's so nice about the Civil 3D. All right, the next video I'm going to show you it has to do with cross sections and putting spot grade, or the next video is going to be with spot grades.